a lot of people will not be happy with the size of the gap, and I know it. But what I'm looking at now, the, the, the pay increase for our staff, they deserve it. And if we want to continue to um, retain the people, the good people that we have, and attract more people, more good people, we need to have salaries that are competitive. We're, we're never going to get to Northern Virginia um, salaries, but we, the closer we get, the better we are. So I appreciate that. And um, I'm just going to be honest. When I saw all those, um, the, the number of staff and the people, the, the, the positions, and the social workers that I've been asking for for two years, more, more, more school counselors, more special education teachers, more paraeducators. Okay, you see this right now? I am so happy because this is what we need in Spotsylvania. Our students are why we're here. Our students are everything, and they deserve the best. And to be able to put more people with them, with the mental health needs that I, that I know our students are having, I see it, that we are going to be able to hopefully support them more. The English language learners that we are getting constantly, and, and I'm thrilled. It adds diversity. It's wonderful that we have the, the children in our buildings, but we need to teach them. And we need the specialists to teach, to be able to be here to teach them. So I appreciate this budget. Um, I am worried about the gap. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm very worried about that gap. But nothing in here is is extravagant. We we know that our band parents have been coming, and and I've been asking for band stuff for ages to be able to start supporting our bands and to see it in here it's closer to reality. Um, everything that I saw in here just is, it's all for the students. People, I know people are gonna say, what do staff pay increases aren't for the students. Yes, they are. Staff increases are for the students. Because if we wanna have good people in our schools working with our kids, then we need to pay them well. And I will continue to say that. And Dr. Baker, um, I just want to say thank you for this budget. It's going to help our kids. So thank you. <clears throat> our problem is uh, really much more basic. And it goes back to one six-letter word, values. What are our values in our society? What are our values in Spotsylvania? We can, we can afford to do what's been asked for. The problem is, what is our intent? What do we expect our children who are graduating from high school to be ready for? And when we ask about values, that gets translated to decision making. And every society, including ours, has decisions to make. And we're going to help the kids now when they're in school so that they're pre prepared for adulthood, or do we not, are we not going to do that? And if we're going to do that, are there things that we don't want to do? Does that mean we're going to have to spend more money than we would like to? Perhaps it does. But again, it comes back to values. And I think each of us on the board here and our citizens in this community need to ask how do we translate our values and our attitudes towards children's education into hard cash and taxes and everything else that comes. And so each of us as adults and as voting people in our community have to, have to ask ourselves, well, what is important? And if the people that are not endorsing high quality education and willing to pay for it, then are those the people we want to vote for? <clears throat>